Cells at Work Cold Black Episode 11. Wow! Alright. Again! Well, I am speechless, okay? Everything about Gout has been perfectly portrayed in this episode. Galing! Alright. Imagine uh, an unsta- an immovable force in the form of a monstrous crystal that represents gout nasa left big toe mo <laughs> eh wala natin kung kakain pa kayo ng mga yung mga, yung mga nakaka-gout yung mga nakaka, nakaka-cost ng gout yung artritis na pagkain sige nga after you watch this episode mark my words you will take gout seriously <laughs> alright but uh, final scene uh but well, before before the final scene, well, uh, 2153, the I finally got his name right. 2153, the male red blood cell, uh, na pida dito, well, finally got to his senses. And who helped him? Of course, C1196, yung uh, everybody's favorite female white blood cell right now. All right. So now final scene. Yung isa nilang kaibigan ni 1166, may tinutulong ang rookie. Then, all of a sudden, the camera pan to yeah, a pile of dead red blood cells. Akala mo eh, parang mga, parang mga tinabunan na mga, tinabunan na bato-bato eh. As if, uh, as if a cave-in happened. Okay? That's exactly what uh, a cave-in looks like. Rocks and dead bodies. Wow, right? Uh, it creeped me out a bit. That that final scene. Overall, it's an awesome episode again by this anime. Like I told you guys a while ago, it perfectly portrayed gout. This this is a condition that's uh, that's closest to my heart because because uh, uh, you all know that I am a physical therapy graduate. Gout. Is one of the conditions we treat. It is right up my alley. Okay? 40 namin ito. So, I am very... I am all too familiar with this condition. My dad had this condition when he was still alive. Kaya talagang, talagang pamilyar na pamilyar ako. Now, that, that drug... Uh, the drug, the, uh, the drug, it was perfectly portrayed by... Uh, by... Uh, it's, uh, it's creepy looking. It's it, it's creepy looking, okay? And it, and it's a drug, all right? It bonded with a it bonded with a white blood cell. But um, like in the like they said in the episode, you take this drug either too often or too long, you may lose the ability to you may lose the ability to bear children. Naakabangog ang drug na to. So it's. You would probably see only a handful of doctors uh, prescribe this drug for gout. You would. You know, it is not. It's not actually that. Uh, what you call this? It is. It is that powerful. Okay. That when taken, taken too often or too long, bahamabaog kayo. Right. You will lose. You. You might lose the ability to bear children. Okay. That's why this. Oh. Uh, well. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know about you, but uh, when I was in PT school, they they told us this kind of a medicine for gout. It is rarely prescribed because it is that. Uh, what you call this? It is that strong. It's that strong. Because ma, at saka matindi, matindi nga side effect nito. It, uh, well, it affects your reproductive organs. All right. If you're a guy, well. You will probably lose the ability to bear children. Kaya uh, hindi masyadong hindi masyadong uh, pini-prescribe ito ng mga doktor. Like I said uh, a few times a while ago, it is that strong. Okay. B- ginamit ang gamot na to dito sa episode na to. That means only one thing. The gout is that serious. All right? The gout this body has is that serious. Oh, siguro talagang pinrescribe ng doktor niya yung itong gamot na to okay, na-suppress alright but uh, 
I'm glad to see I'm glad to see 2153 back on uh, finally seeing the light. So the base may kabilisan kasi well they're dealing they're dealing with uh, something they are assuming as a pathogen. Okay, the white blood and all the immune cells. But no, it is not a pathogen. It's not even a living creature. It is the accumulation of uric acid in crystal it is uric acid in uh, in crystalline form. Okay? Tama ang sinabi sa episode na to. <clears throat> when you have this, well, when you have gout uh, in any of your joints, especially sa big toe, mahanginan lang yan, sasakit na. That's called the painful wind. I'm all too familiar with that. I, told you, I tell you guys. Okay? Mahanginan lang yan, sasakit na yan. Okay? It's that, uh, it's that dangerous. Okay, gout is that dangerous. Do not walk. This episode is a moral lesson to everyone who's, uh, who still, uh, who thinks they're still, they're too young to get gout, to get arthritis. If you abuse your body this much, you will get it. So base, flow, and of course the plot. Now. It's in a whole new it's in a whole new level, all right? It's a whole new level. The pace, the flow and the plot. So they all well, they, they did not they did not come together. They worked together in this episode. Ang pinakamatinding cameo nito when it comes to the flow yung the the pile of dead red blood cells and uh, those rocks parang parang tabla-tabla ng cemento. Right? That was that was disturbing. That was disturbing. So, Cells of Work, Code Black, Episode 11. Two thumbs up. And since I'm in bed, big toe time. <laughs> Code Black, uh, well, has now, uh, has now an image of its own. Okay? It is so big right now. Cosplayer, legend, well, iconic cosplayers like Yaya Han. You guys know who Yaya Han is? Yep, she has already cosplayed 1196 in her uh, on her Instagram. Well, I follow her on Instagram, guys. All right. Yeah, I follow her on Instagram, so I, I saw it myself. Her her cosplay of White Blood Cell 1196. Wow. <laughs> she is hot in that cosplay. I am so glad that uh, someone thought of this franchise. That will uh, that educates people about the about the immune system, about the body in general, especially um, how the body reacts to an illness. Yan as portrayed in Cold Black. Galing, superb. Ah, right. Uh, I'm an anime connoisseur, so that one's for you, Leiden Films, for 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 bringing. <clears throat> Or bringing cells that were code black to, to anime life, right? We need this anime. People need this anime because they need to be educated about the immune system, okay? And how certain diseases will what? Will will affect you? Not in not only in the short run but also in the long run. You know, you know what? If you ask me, uh, the body involved in code black, I think it's probably close to death. Right? Eh, biro nyo ba naman? Eh, naranasan na lahat ng klaseng, lahat ng klaseng grabing sakit eh. Gout. Uh, severe gout, ha? This is severe gout. Uh, the gout is so severe, it warranted that, uh, that powerful med, that powerful drug. <clears throat> yeah, the gout must be that serious. Uh, meron, meron ding kidney fail, meron ding potential kidney failure, may liver failure. And, okay, I've had my feel of re-education when it comes to Code Black. Grabe. Uh, grabe yung ginawa ng Lightning Films dito. Hats off to you guys again. So again, Cells at Work, Code Black, Episode 11. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. So, we're getting close to the finale, guys. The road to the finale with this episode started in Episode 9. And it has been sort of a downhill path for our uh, 
for, for the heroes here. Especially, um, 2153. Grabe yung funk na pinasok niya. I feel sorry for 2153 when, during the start of this episode. Grabe. There's also a moral lesson to be learned here. Well, uh, the red bug actually woke him, actually first woke him up. Alright? He's too young to, to be thinking this way. He's too, uh, he's got his whole life ahead of him. Okay? When you're young, you should not think of things uh, like this muna. Right? Tuloy ang buhay. Tuloy ang laban. Yun ang, that's the moral lesson, that's the moral lesson being imparted in this episode. So, I want more moral lessons, Cold Black, so give it to me in the next episode. High Rise Invasion episodes 4, 5, and 6. One thing I'm noticing about, about, the, about this anime is the action picks up a notch every episode. Okay? <clears throat> and uh, so is the storyline. So is the storyline. Uh, well, the final scenes. Alright. Uh, what, what's the final scene of the episode 4? Okay. What's it gonna make? I'm going puts on a mask. Basically goes devil mode. The next one. Who was this character sipping tea? What does. What role does he? What role is he playing in, in all of this? And of course, well, Mayoko wakes up from her coma, from the uh, complications of wearing that mask, because I, she probably heard Honjo cry for help. Ah, uh, Honjo, see Yuli. All right. Wow. Overall, yeah. They're all impressive. All three of these episodes were impressive. Pace, flow, and story. Uh, pace, pace, flow, and plot wise. Alright? Couldn't ask for more. I could not find. Uh, I could not find flaws in either one. I could not find flaws in either one. Maganda yung timing ng mga cambio eh. Bawat episode. Okay? Each episode has a. Uh, uh, showed a crucial gear shift in the storyline in the whole storyline of high rise invasion all right wow I, i'm just I, I, i'm racking my brain right now for faults in each episode but <clears throat> i just could not recall one all right i just could not recall one so yeah these are these are really superb episodes these are really superb episodes so High Rise Invasion episodes 4, 5, and 6 deserve two thumbs up, right? Two thumbs up. Well, you know what? I have never done, I have never reviewed three episodes from the same anime in, uh, in consecutive weeks, right? So. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this, okay? Because I, I, I am reviewing an anime I thought, which was, I thought was, uh, Netflix is hyping it too much by really uh, releasing all 12 of its episodes at the same time, in the same day. I thought, parang, parang mamadaling kumita Netflix dito sa anime na to. But I think, I figured, it has, a good, it has a great, it has a good synopsis. That's why I'm taking it on. But six episodes have passed. We're, we're already, we're, we're already done with the first half of the run. And wow, right? I I don't see any signs of let up in this uh, anime so far. Okay? And first half pa lang ng run, walang let up. Okay? You act on you know, the pace, the flow, and the plot. No, wala. No signs of let up. And I'm so looking forward to the second half of this run. Right? I am so looking to the for looking forward to the second half of this anime. Right? Netflix has a good reason to to, to 
release all all 12 episodes of this anime at the same time. Right. It's probably binge watch worthy, at least for the first six episodes. Okay? It's binge watch worthy. Right. So, High Rise Invasion episodes 4, 5, and 6. Two thumbs up. Right. Two thumbs up. Well, in typical High Rise Invasion fashion, no teasers whatsoever. Great. But anyway, uh, the action is so good, uh, the story is so good, alright? <clears throat> the essential elements of a survival anime are are here in High Rise Invasion, alright? So, we better watch this. Kapanapanapik ang story ang ito. So, I can't wait to, I can't wait to see the next three. Dr. Stone, Stone Wars Episode 8. The final battle has begun. Wow. Uh, that's all I can say. But, whoa. Okay. Chukasa comes, well, it's pretty much a stalemate right now. Final scene. Mag-aagawa na sila sa nitric acid na binabantayin initially ng Kingdom of Might. Grabe. Woo. And what? Well, um, the biggest... Uh, Biggest event here. Ukyo is hurt. Okay. ni Yoga. Alright. Overall, it's an awesome episode. Alright. It only took 20 seconds for yung pace, okay. The pace actually uh, The pace actually picked up in the first 20 seconds. It only took 20 seconds for the Kingdom of Science to to take the miracle key. Okay, galing. Yung flow, ang ganda ng pagkakakambyo. Alright? Tsukasa and Yoga, uh, they joined the battle, which uh, the Kingdom of Science thought it was all over. Then, uh, the leaders of both sides realized that, well, basically, he who takes the nitric acid wins the Stone Wars. Medyo may head start na si, si Senku at saka si Chrome. Sila sumugod. And of course, the plot. Okay. It, it's not a carry. It's not a carry over. The plot is standalone. So, well. The first shot was fired. Doon nagsimula ang story lang ito. Very nice. Oy, hindi pa ito rating ko ha. Okay. Hindi pa ito rating ko. Galing. Wow. I never thought a war um, would only have you know, probably one casualty, which is Ukyo, right? Pero I feel sorry for the guy. Okay? Siya talaga nag-warning. Siya talaga nag-warning sa kila Senko na para din na sila yoga at ano, Chukasa. Uh, which he said was too early. It's too early. So, Dr. Stone, Stone Wars, Episode 8. Two thumbs up, okay? Two thumbs up. Because basically, no matter how, no matter how bloodless you make it, blood will be spilled. Okay. Okay. The best example here was well, Yoga taking down Ukyo. Okay. Nasaksa, okay. sinibat ni Yoga si Ukyo. And well, um, I think he's dead. Okay. I think Ukyo is dead now. What will the agreement now between him and Senku go? How? Uh, I really want to know. Wow! I really, I really know. I really want to know how that, um, how that deal is going to go. All right. Then what? Well, we've seen it. Nila mas na nila chokasa yoga kung gano sila kalupit. Right? How ruthless those two are. Wow. Okay. Definitely, uh, season two is about to end, and I felt that when I um, when I when I watched this episode a while ago, I absolutely felt that. Got it. This is going to be a short review because basically I'm speechless right now. The episode 
is that good. The episode was that good. So yeah, it warranted me to shut up during this review. <laughs> Alright? So again, Dr. Stone, Stone Wars, episode 8. Two thumbs up. Okay, two thumbs up. Wow, okay? Sino kaya ang makakakuha sa nitric acid na yun? Would it be Senko? Or... Will, uh, will the Kingdom of Might retain it? So, we'll just have to find out in the next episode. Kasi, well, Dr. Stone only teasers the title. Higurashi 2020, episode 22. Definitely one of the most disturbing episodes of this reboot. <laughs> Grabe. I never thought Satoko, Satoko would become this evil. Alright? And how many times has she died in this episode? Uh, hindi, hindi. We, won't, we won't count the first one. We won't, we won't count the, uh, the first one in the episode because that's actually from the last one. So, four times. Four times, alright? She, 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 she killed herself four times, okay? If that's not disturbing to you, I don't know what is. Alright? Final scene! <laughs> Final scene na God. Well, Santa Claus made up her mind and she plans to, well, she plans to, well, to make Rika's life a living hell. Uh, well, kasi basically, Sinama na siya ni, well, uh, this is only my, this is only my theory, but the, Sato, Sato, the one Sato is talking to right now is actually Oyashiro Sama. Si Oyashiro yun. It is not Hanyu, but Oyashiro herself. Right? So, kung maga pinasama na niya sa, sa power niya si Rika. Now, she wants to make Rika's life a living hell just to make her realize that uh, living, living in Hinamisawa is a bad idea. I never thought, <laughs> I never thought Satoko would be this selfish, alright? When she's self selfish, she, she is evil, okay? Overall, like I said a while ago, it is one of the most disturbing episodes of the reboot, right? And Remember, we're on the road to the finale. Okay, so... Natural. Naturally. Uh, they have to pick up the pace and the... Uh, well, the flow. Ang ganda ng cambio. Alright? The, uh, the gear shift came when Satoko... <clears throat> uh, Satoko realized one thing. That she has to make Rika's life a living hell. Okay? If it if it means death, if it means another death for her, she probably will do it, right? And of course, the plot. This episode is either uh, is either disturbing or traumatizing to the viewer. Okay. Wow. Okay. I never thought I would slap myself for that episode. Grabe. Wow. I could really feel it in my bones that uh, the Higurashi reboot is about to end. Okay? The Higurashi reboot is about to end, guys. And wow. Naramdaman ko rito sa episode na to. It... It's at its most disturbing. Okay? So... Higurashi 2020, episode 22. Two thumbs up. And another thing. Those four deaths, the four times Satoko died in this episode, well, uh, not, not, not all of them were suicides, actually. Uh, nearly all of them were suicides. <clears throat> she, uh... She stabbed herself in the neck with a pencil. She uh, she slit her own throat <laughs> with a uh, with, what you call this with a, with a long knife. I, 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 rem 
it, it looks like it looks like the knife we have right now in the kitchen. Right, that, that's super sharp. Okay, the knife uh, Sato used in this episode looks exactly like it. Okay, and uh, she had she jumped onto the highway and then a truck slams into her, blood all over. All right, wow. If you don't find that disturbing, then you must be sick in the head. You must be sick in the head. I have never seen multiple, multiple deaths by one character since episode 17 or 16, parang ganon, where the, the episode where Rika actually died five times, right? But much this, this, this was actually worse, okay? Four suicides by the same character. Whoa! <laughs> okay? <clears throat> it is scary. It is disturbing. And, uh, well, it's making me look forward right now to the, to the original series. I really want to see the original series now. You see, uh, I, wa I want to make that, I want to make that comparison now. I really want to make that comparison. I really want to, I really want to do that. So, okay. the reboot is actually egging me on to watch the original series to see if which one is the more disturbing one. Um, uh, yeah, <clears throat> uh, I'm completely sold on that idea now. So when when the reboot has ended, I'll probably uh, I'll probably watch the original series, right? So again, Higurashi 2020 episode 22. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, Twitch. Well, title of the next episode has been teasered. This art is far from over. Uh, siguro, ito na yung, ito na siguro yung final art. Okay? So, hanggang, hanggang finale na siguro. But hey, it is starting to get more disturbing by the episode. Go to the finale, guys. Go to the finale. The Promise Neverland second season episode 8. Wow. Wow. And wow. All right. Norman carries out the plan, but uh, but at the same time, Norman and Ray have found uh Sonju in Mujiga. Pero is it too late? Because that was because that's what the final scene uh looks like. All right? Norman is about to kill this this old demon who's who is sort of immune to, to the chemical he made. Marami, uh, marami na dami na demon. Except for this old demon. He wasn't affected in any way. So, sa tindi ng galit niya, he was about to kill that old demon. Then, boom, Emma, Ray, Sonjo, and Mujika uh, stopped him. Overall, <clears throat> It was an it is an awesome episode. Bakit? Yung uh, yung pace tamang tama lang. Yung flow. We almost got to see how much of a devil Norman is. Uh, natin makita pagka demonyo niya. Did you see how uh, Norman um, uh, what you call this regressed into the ki into the kid that he was at Grace Field yung ampunan nila? That was how, um, that was exactly how he felt nung, nung papatay na niya itong, itong old demon na to. Na, napatigil siya. And, umiiyak na lang na parang bata. Right? And the plot, well, okay. Plot, superb. Okay? The plot was, was really superb. Okay? Tama lang yung pagkaka-execute kasi they were both in a race against time. Okay? Both parties. Emma and Ray finally found Mujika in Sonju. Then, at the same time, nag-field test ang, uh, ang grupo ni Norman. Alright? So, medyo hindi tumupad sa usapan si Norman. Alright? Hindi niya muna inintay sila Emma and Ray. He had to. He just went. Uh, he just went for the field test. He just went out there and started the field test in, in a nearby demon town. Ganda. It's an impressive episode. Talagang 
I could feel that the road to the season two finale is is near. Because of this episode. So, the Promised Neverland second season episode eight. Two thumbs up. You're not to me. I'm gonna make a special mention to the ED. You know, as the um, uh, as the episodes went by, nagaganda na ako sa ED. It's um, there's a certain calmness to it, and uh, the ones featured in the uh, in the in the closing sequence were is of course uh, Sonjo and Mujika. So, parang there's a sense of peace, okay? There's a sense of peace to that song. Kaya, yes, guru It was a good choice for for the idiot for the idiot say of season two. Right? It's a good choice. But anyway, Norman experiences the the moral dilemma himself, okay? And he has seen the extent of the damage. Talagang it is not a pretty sight. Okay? It is nothing short of disturbing. Okay? It's nothing short of disturbing. And we've seen the, the quick backstory behind Norman. Talagang, wala siyang binuhay na demon sa facility niyon. He actually planned the escape. Not only to, to just escape, but to, uh, but to take down some demons with him. Right? Now we know kung gano'ng katindi ang galit niya sa mga demons. Now we know the extent of his anger. My bold prediction for um, for season two is, or for the rest of season two is, uh, Norman. Uh, well, if it isn't obvious to you, Norman has complicated things for Emma and Ray. Norman himself, the uh, uh, I think the original, the original instigator of, of this whole escape anti-demon thing. This. Uh, this mind, this, the very mindset that, uh, that fueled season one. Alright? So, he just complicated things by, uh, not going on his word. What are the implications now leading to the finale? Yun ang dapat nating alamin. And this episode set it up really well. Galing. Clover works. The Promised Neverland is the main reason why I am not watching uh, why I'm not watching Horimiya right now. What on the Horimiya? It's Promised Neverland season 2. Eh, ito na lang. Di ba? Na lang. So again, The Promised Neverland season 2 episode oh, second season pala. Sorry. Episode 8. Two thumbs up. Well, uh, I'm not on Twitch right now because uh, I got so pissed off at my OBS. So in usual Promised Neverland fashion, no teasers. <laughs> Kaya, well, uh, bakit pa mag teasers it's, it's the road to the finale. Hello? We'll just have to watch the next episode. After all, episode 8 is a great motivator for the next one. Jujutsu Kaisen, episode 21. Probably the funniest episode of this series. <laughs> well, it's the, uh, it's the, uh, it is an Aftermath episode, but wow, okay, they're uh, they're not taking themselves too seriously right now. So, galing, right? Final scene. Gojo is gloating <laughs> because his branch won the baseball event. Uh, tapos yung principal naman ng Tokyo sabi nito sa. Okay, Principal Yaga. <clears throat> uh, instead, of focusing, instead of focusing on just Tatori, why don't you do something? Why don't you do something about Gojo first? <laughs> because well, uh, basically in the final scene, Gojo is being an asshole. Because <laughs> well, he is gloating because their branch won the baseball tournament, and wow. Baseball Jujutsu style. <laughs> Grabe. Overall, it's a really good episode. Okay. Um, normally, kasi pag, uh, 
aftermath ng isang matinding atake, everyone is a funk. Everyone is in a funk. Okay? Medyo demoralized yung iba. Some are finding themselves. That's the usual, uh, that's the usual thing that happens. But, uh, JJK did it differently. So, imbis na, uh, imbis na uh, all, uh, all fried babies sila, Gojo said, let's move on, let's move forward. Let's have this, uh, let's finish this competition. Okay, and then the flow, yeah, uh, wala masyadong cambio. Wala masyadong cambio. Because uh, uh, it is an aftermath episode and they're trying to, uh, they're just trying to loosen up, basically. Okay? And I never knew Toto would be that funny. Okay? Siguro, I think the, uh, I think the, uh, what I would consider the biggest gear shit here is when he got pinballed in the face. Hindi <laughs> siya ni, ni Maki, talaga parang sinadya eh, parang, parang sinadya talaga eh, hindi na siya tinamaan sa mukha ng baseball, ng bola he got pinballed in the face alright that's that's the funniest moment of the episode, alright, that was the funniest moment and everyone was cheering, even his own team <laughs> even his own team alright, grabe and of course the plot, what uh, Jujutsu Kaisen did it, uh, did it really differently, and they pulled it off really well. All right. So remember, we're on the road to the, we're on the road to JJK's finale, which started in episode 20, so, last episode. So to have it, uh, to have an aftermath episode like this, it's a breath of fresh air, practically to the anime industry. JJK did uh, did it really differently in this episode. Talagang, uh, the plot was out of the ordinary. Okay, bottom line. But it was nicely done. Right. It's nicely done. So, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 21. Two thumbs up. Hey, two thumbs up. I almost gave it. Uh, I almost gave it just the one thumb up. But in ko eh, it had a lot of funny moments. <clears throat> we now know that uh, not not all Jujutsu sorcerers are are adept at baseball. But I, I really love uh, I really love how uh, how Mapa uh, took this road for an aftermath episode. Talagang, uh, it's really different, but it's a breath of fresh air. For us anime fans, because usually I would, I would expect an after aftermath to be uh, gloomy. Everyone would be on edge. Everyone would be on each other's nerves. But uh, JJK did it really differently. Walang ane, walang internal conflict na nangyari. And well, uh, they they just move forward by. Pushing through with the with the team battle with the uh, with the inter school battles. So the only way to resolve this is baseball. Good choice. Good choice for an event. All right. Good choice for an event. It's a really, it's a really good episode. It's a really good aftermath episode. Uh, I I was entertained, and there was probably a life lesson there. All right. Yeah, there was a life lesson. Because there are many Marami, maraming namatay at nasaktan doon sa, sa last attack, sa last, sa last few episodes. When uh, Jujutsu, when Jujutsu Tech was attacked, was invaded. Right? Uh, Toto said something there that, uh, that was, I should say, motivational in nature. What? We should let the... Uh, we should let... We should let the families of the deceased to mourn. Basically, something to, that, something to that effect. But basically, it's that. It's none of our business to butt in there. Okay. So, essentially, what he was saying is, we should not mourn alongside 
those who who should mourn, right? For, for the rest of us who uh, for the rest of us who weren't affected, we just gotta move forward. That's basically uh, the logic and wisdom behind what Toto said in this episode at the start of the episode. Okay, I'm Ejo. May nalalaman din pa ng personal development ito si, si Toto. Alright? He's got brains. He's got brains. He's right on that. So again, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 21. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, Twitch. Well, next episode has been teasered. And I love it. <clears throat> Remember, we are still on the road to Jujutsu Kaisen's finale. This may play this next episode may play a role in that. Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 39. Absolutely. Whoa. <laughs> you know what? It really felt like a season finale. Alright? I mean, the two, the two opponents. Having their most powerful monsters disintegrate just like that. So now they resort to their, uh, let's just say, uh, they, they went back to basics. Final scene Yuga beats Asana with his new ace by using a card named TCB, which allows you, okay, if you're the user, which allows you to change the type of your monster. One of the biggest comebacks in, in the history of this franchise. So, ginawa ni Yuga sa episode na to. Alright? Trust me, I know. <laughs> uh, I, I've seen every, I've seen every Yu-Gi-Oh! series there is. Okay? This is one of the biggest. This is one of the best comebacks. Okay? Overall, it is a really good season finale. Alright? If it is, well, I'll explain why, uh, why, why, why it's a season finale. Why it's a season finale for me? I'm gonna explain why later. But now, the pace, okay. Dinala niya yung pace ng uh, ng previous episode. Pati yung flow. All right. So the flow, yung unang cameo came at the start of the episode. Yung nawala pareho. Yung dalawang maximum nila. Yung dalawang maximum monsters nawala pareho. So, well, in in real life dueling, we call that a smash, where when two monsters during the battle phase have the same attack, so they both they're both destroyed. It's called a smash. Smash, okay? Smash pareho. So no sa field. So then, of course, well, the plot. The plot depended on the dual script entirely. And you know how uh, and you know how a Yu-Gi-Oh dual script is uh, uh is written. Okay? The um the overall episode script may suck, but the dual script won't. This one did not suck. Because it took probably one and a half episodes for that dual script to 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 be done. <clears throat> it's probably that long that do, yung, uh, this script that is exclusively made for that duel it's probably that long kasi one and a half episodes yung itinagal ng, ng duel alright grabe and whoa teka the fi actually the final scene of the duel is that Yuka beats Asana but the real final scene is this Goha has decided to regroup. The real enemy here is that drone helmet. Not whoever it wears, not whoever wears it. That's the real enemy. That is the real antagonist of the series. Yung drone helmet na yun. Okay. So he that drone helmet just decided for Mimi that Gohan needs to regroup. So what? For me, that's a season finale. Okay? Because because well, um, the fall of Goha 6 Elementary is a uh, is a really big setback for Goha. Okay? Yun na talagang uh, kaapi nila rito eh. Goha 6. 
Nawala na. So, every student in that school is now free to rush the will. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> well, um, what remains of the machine cavalry to club now is, well, siyempre, uh, friends na sila nilang, friends na sila ng mga barkada ni Yuga. And, well, all is well. For now. <laughs> For now. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 39, season 1 finale. Two thumbs up, all right? Wow, all right. I never thought Studio Bridge would pull off a season finale this way for a Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Well, Studio Bridge is one of the, uh, it's one of the most reputable animation studios in Japan, okay? Remember Talentless Nana? Ha? Huh? Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's premiered, uh, no, uh, debuted Spring 2020. Ang talentless na na naman, Summer 2020. Pero hindi ko siya, it's time not to review it, pero parang hindi ako bilis sa story. <laughs> but, it, but I heard it was, a, it was also a good anime. It was also a good anime done by, by Bridge. So, wow. Okay. It was a really good two-part season finale. It was really good. Talagang, Yu-Gi-Oh! Caliber. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh! Caliber finale. Galing. Now, I am looking forward to the next season. And, uh, I probably have no idea yet as when it will start. But, knowing, uh, knowing Konami, they might start the new season. They might have a break. They, I, I think they, yeah, I think they might have a break starting this week. I don't know. It's not confirmed yet, alright? Ito na nga. Ito na suspecha ko, alright? Being a long-time Yu-Gi-Oh! fan. They might take a one to three week break. Kasi nung Yu-Gi-Oh! Rings, the break between seasons one and two medyo mahaba. It was... I think three weeks? Ano Tama, three weeks. They took a three week break. Then season two. Then Frames Season 2 started. So, yun. Nakong maganda rin yung ano eh. Nakong maganda rin yung Season 2 pilot. Alright, tinaser na eh. So again, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's Episode 39. Again, Season 1 finale. Two thumbs up. Alright, two thumbs up, Twitch. Wow. If Konami uh, orders a break for 7's, it'll be a big relief for me. <laughs> Because that will be that will be one less anime for me to one less anime for me to review this month. So for the next three weeks, medyo bawas yung bawas ng workload ko. Workload, okay. Workload. So, if it does happen, well, I'm going to miss the program. I say, well, seven took a uh, seven seven took I think a seven to week seven to eight week break last year. Nung kasagsagan ng ng pandemia. When the pandemic started, they took a, yeah, they took an eight-week break. So, medyo nawala sa circulation ng sevens too. But, this was a good, uh, this was a good way to cap off a season. Kasi 39 episodes din. Yeah, it's, it's already considered a season for a yu series. King's Raid, episode 23. Probably the best backstory I have ever uh, I've ever seen this entire winter 2021. Okay, it wasn't boring actually. We got to we got to finally know what actually happened to King Kyle. Okay? Maria was the sole witness of that battle. All right, and unfortunately, well. The results of that battle are now here. Kyle, King Kyle is now the Dark Lord. Bad trip. A final scene. Well, they now set off for the World Tree to retrieve. To retrieve the Holy Sword. Kasi, inanlock na ni, ano eh. Uh, inanlock na ni Pavel yung final seal. So, all Castle has to do now is to, is to get it back. 
Overall, it's a really good episode. Ramdam ko ang, ang road to the finale dito. I, uh, I felt it in my bones when I was uh, when I was watching this episode. Right? The pace, tama lang. Maria was telling the most important backstory of this entire anime. Okay? So, yeah. You have to make it slow but sure. Okay? In, or, in order for the other characters to understand, to fully grasp this, this all-important backstory. Flow! Yeah? Wala, wala naman mabigat na cambio. So, probably the, the heaviest gear shift right now is, well, uh, Castle's response to that backstory. So, he's still hoping na he can, uh, he can somehow, he can somehow bring his father back to his sense, back to his original senses. Right? And of course, you know, pagkakarikopan ni Pavel, he was uh, healthy enough to unlock the final seal. Of course, the plot. Hindi mo siya tong carry over from the last episode. This was probably a standalone, a standalone plot. So, hindi siya. It's not, it's not a boring plot. We fully, we now fully understand what, uh, what actually happened to King Kyle and how he ended up as the new Dark Lord. Right? Yeah. Ganda yung plot. Ganda yung plot for this episode. Yeah, uh, overall, it's a really good episode. So, King's Raid episode 23. One thumb up lang. Okay. This episode, yeah. Uh, we were... Uh, it told the most important backstory of the entire... Of this entire anime, but um, some questions were left unanswered, like how will that? Well, we, we just found out that the pendant uh, reheat has it. That is actually Ilya's device to protect Kyle from somewhat uh, absorbing the Dark Lord, absorbing Angmon's power. He wasn't wearing it the day he battled Angmon, so... Uh, he absorbed the power of the Dark Lord, so now he is the Dark Lord. So, I don't... We don't know how this pendant will protect will protect Castle this time. Alright? Uh, Maria wasn't... Maria wasn't... Uh, wasn't on full disclosure mode. He didn't... Hindi niya sinagot yung tanong ko. That question wasn't asked, wasn't actually asked, pero I could feel it in my bones that Maria knows something about that pendant. Okay? That was actually Ilya's device to uh, to protect King, to protect the King, uh, protect King Kyle from whatever whatever Angmon can do to him. Right? She wasn't on full disclosure. Now, it's probably up to Reheat to give that to Castle. Kasi siya kakaharap sa Dark Lord ngayon. Okay? Who turns out to be his own father, si King Kyle na. So, okay. But one, yeah, one thing is for sure. The son will now battle the father. Has to battle the father. That is for sure na. Okay? So again, King's Raid episode 23. What about? Hey, uh, I'm sorry. What about? Uh, next episode has been teasered. Parang, parang, parang pumalik sa princesa. Well, uh, the faction of the princess involves Reheat. So, it probably has to do with Reheat. Uh, this thing. This teaser is confusing, so we just got to watch the next episode. Tandaan nyo, the road to the finale, <clears throat> we're still on the road to the finale. Okay? And it might get more interesting with this next episode.
Yasuhime episode 22. Sorry, <laughs> I seem to I seem to lose track sometimes with the episode the episode numbers, but don't worry, I got this one right. So, well, as we saw, zero. I don't want to call her Lady Zero. I, I don't have I don't have any respect for villains. Okay, I don't have any respect for anime villains. Okay, basta sa ko So zero makes her move, right? She removes the seal on Setsuna. Setsuna goes wild. Final scene. Ano kinilaman ng modern era sa story ng ito? Bakit pina? Bakit? Bakit napatawad sa modern era? Wow. All right. Hindi ko na orient dun na. Overall, it's a good episode. Okay, it's a good episode. The pace, yung, tiga, yung pace niya, yeah, fast pace kasi nagwala si Setsu na rito eh. So, so, both Moroha and Toba go, go on, uh, go on panic mode, actually. Right? Then, oh, then Miroko's, Miroko's kids, in, Miroko's kids come to, come to the rescue. So, tinunungan sila. Nagapi nila yung seal. Nai, naibalik ng, naibalik ni Kino yung isang ate ni Hisui, yung, yung seal. Kasi tinuro sa kanya na tatay niya. Then the flow, the only gear shift I figured out there was the change from feudal to modern era. We went back to, we went back to the modern era. Trust me, wondering why, but all for good reason. Okay, all for good reason. Now I remember. The Grim Comet has uh, has returned to has returned to Earth in the modern era. All right. So the plot was actually a precursor of what's going to happen now in the modern era. Okay. <clears throat> Someone has to stop the Grim Comet. Katulad ng ginawa nila Kirin Marot ni Green Dog Demon. And of course, nila si Shumarot ni Nuyasha. They, they too stopped it. And now, who's gonna stop it? It's the modern era. <clears throat> the three girls are in the feudal era. Para sila makakabalik. Alright? And by the, looks of, by the looks of it, Zero is still skinny. Right? Hindi hindi ka lang kasi yung pagkaka-reseal ni Kino sa sa demon blood ni sa demon blood ni Setsuna. Setsuna still has that yung parang blood mark din yung runs all over all over her arm. Sign yun na pwede pa siyang pwede pa siyang makain ng demon pwede pa siyang makain ng demon energy niya. So Yasahime Episode 22. Yeah, why not? Two thumbs up. Alright? Two thumbs up. Bakit? Kasi, uh, well, it's the road to the finale. Okay? It's the third to the final, it's the third to the final episode. So, everything that happens here will have implications in the finale. Okay, so, talaga nagtaka ko rito eh. What? What does the modern era have to do with, with the three girls? Ayun, pinakita. The Grim Comet has returned. So, nakita ng isang, nakita ng dating teacher ni Towa. And he knows it's the Grim Comet kasi na scientist eh. He's a scientist. And, you know, of course, in the final scene, in the, in the real final scene, uh, he approaches yung stepfather ni Towa, yung nag-ampun sa kanya, yung kapatid ni, ano, yung kapatid ni Kagome. Okay? Yung brother ni Kagome na nag-ampun kay Towa. So, I don't know, what, I don't know what, they're going, what they're going to talk about. But, the implications happening in the feudal era will impact the modern era because of the return of the Grim Comet. Okay? It isn't called the Grim Comet for nothing. <laughs> May dalang, I think may dalang malas yan. May dalang malas. Or, 
it's a sign that that time or uh, a point in time will return. Okay? Kaya, tutong sa pa rin. Because, maganda yung magiging next episode eh. Tinisir na. So, it's directly tied to this one. So, damay-damay na yan. Upisa na yan. Alright, damay-damay na yan. Until they they get their rematch with, with Kirin Maru. Alright, until they get their rematch with Kirin Maru. So, that's why I give it the two thumbs up. The, the, uh, the events that happen here definitely will, will have an impact in the finale. Alright? That's how the final, that's how the road to the finale works, guys. Okay? That's how the road to the finale works. It starts as early as five episodes. It starts as early as the last five episodes. Alright? That's why I call it the last five episodes rule. <laughs> okay. So again, Yashahime episode 22. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Well, I mentioned a while ago, next episode has been teasered. Retribution time. Yun na ang masasabi ko. Yun na ang masasabi ko. Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 13. <sighs> Alright. The way the dialogues were delivered, it's nothing short of disturbing. Alright. Final scene. Whoa. Eren appears in front of Armin and Mikasa. Kasama nila si Gabi. Ininterrogate nila. His hands slit like that. Isa na ibig sabihin nun. He's about to go Titan. But, but, hinahayaan lang niya bukas kaya bumubulwak yung dugo. And his last words were, I want to talk to you guys. Ooh. Alright? Overall, It's both an awesome and a disturbing episode. Alright? You pace. Yeah. Slow enough for disturbing. Slow enough to be disturbing. Okay? Well, uh, as we see, Nicolo hits. Nicolo inadvertently hits Falco in the head with a wine bottle that contains Zeke's spinal fluid. Nice. Na ipapay nung sana sa mga top ranking military officers. Now, the flow, ang kalta ng mga kambyo, hayo. One unexpected turn after another. Okay? Just goes to show you that, wow. War and hundreds of years of anger, they are ugly. They are ugly. And the plot, well, like I said oh, just a while ago, it proves to every proves to, uh, proves to us all that, well, I'm gonna repeat it. War and revenge is ugly. Alright? Grab yung episode ago. Again, the the air was so the air was so uh, the air was so thick. He, you can you can you you have to cut it with a knife just to get just to get past it. No uh, no battle sequences. What is battle sequences? The dialogue, the uh, the tense atmosphere, the setting. It it's nothing short of disturbing. All right, it's nothing short of disturbing. Grabe, I I can. You can feel it in your bones. Oh, I can feel it in my bones, but I don't know about your bones, all right? We can feel it in our bones that Attack on Titan is, is coming to an end, all right? And we don't know how, how the finale is going to go. It's, it's the road to the finale, all right? 13, 14, 15, 16. 
final four episodes na tayo. And we're now done. And we just and we're just done with episode 13. We do not know what is what uh, what exactly is going to what is going to happen in the finale. Okay? So whew, ang tense nakaka nakakabog sa dibdib minsan eh yung mga ganitong episodes alright so Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 13 2 thumbs up the most tense 2 thumbs up I have ever given I have, give, I have ever given an episode alright the, the way the, the way Eren stepped into that room para uh, para Salubungin sila, sila Armin at Mikasa, his two best friends, okay? uh, the two people closest to him, si, er, si Armin at si Mikasa. Kasama pa nila si Gabi, yung, yung bumaril kay Sasha. E si Sasha kaibigan din ni Eren yun. Alright? God knows, only God knows what's going on inside Eren's head right now. Well, well, Erin, there's Sasha's killer. And she's and she says she wants to kill you. Alright? Diba? No pa sinasabi ni Gabby. I'm going to kill Erin Yeager. Well, here you are, Gabby. Erin Yeager's running right in front of you, ready to go Titan. To go on yung hamay. What you gonna do now? Okay. What you gonna do now? Yeah, wow. Okay. <laughs> it was a tense atmosphere in the fight in uh, in the last few scenes. It was a tense atmosphere. Tapos sila sila float naman, hinostage sila sila Hanje, sila sila Hanje si si Jean, even Nicolo. Hinostage din nila. And ang dami May mga, may mga underlying plans pa lang pinulgar si Nicolo rito. Right? And then all of a sudden, the Yeagerists, the Yeagerists suddenly uh, hostage them. You know, hostage them sila. Wow. Right? I don't know about you, but the way I see it, this is probably one of the anime's best episodes. This is one of the anime's best episodes. Well, probably next to episode six of final season. Okay. But it's one of the best. Talagang talagang halos halos kumabog at dibdib ko kanina. Uh, midway uh, mid episode yon halos kumabog nila yung dibdib ko sa the tense environment this uh, this episode had. Wow. Right. So again. Attack on Titan Final Season. Whoa. Thanks, Jack. Final Season Episode 13. Two thumbs up. I got distracted by my dog. Two thumbs up. Thumbs up, Twitch. So, next episode. Wow. Alright. This will probably be the episode where Eren opens his heart and mind to. Well, like, I, like I said, his two best friends. Si Armin and si Mikasa. To his two closest confidants. Yeah, his two closest confidants. Yun talagang, yun talagang nakakilala sa kanya. Yun talagang nakakilala sa Eren Yeager. Alright? I can't wait for that next episode. If you haven't seen the final season of Attack on Titan because you're so busy with other stuff, with other, with other social animes out there, you are just wasting your time with them. I strongly suggest you start watching the final season of Attack on Titan or you will miss out by a lifetime. X-Arm Episode 9. Wow, right? Talk, talking, talk about an episode that is... Um, whew. <clears throat> Both uh, tense and flat out exciting. Okay, all hope seemed lost uh, until the final scene. 
The US finally agrees to send Ogre back in. Oh, uh, Akira is reunited with Ogre. The real party is about to start. Nanginginig na sa takot si Beta. Alright, nanginginig na sa takot si Beta. Boom! Ogre is back! <laughs> Pero much, uh, mas astig ang itsura niya ngayon. And wow! Uh, did you see that Buster Sword he has? Ay, parang... Eh, eh, mukhang handa ng... Handa ng, handa ng mangbuti... Mang, Banggutay ng banggutay ng robot si Akira. Eh. He, he's ready to he's ready to cut one of the amaterasus up in pieces, okay? Para gusto niyang para gusto niyang gawing sisig yung isang amat amaterasu. Eh. Wow. Overall, it's a really impressive episode. Okay? I felt the uh, I felt the road to X Arms finale here. So we we are on that road. I got, I got, I got those steals. <laughs> Yung pace, uh, it's fast but completely understandable. Kasi ang dami ng, uh, it's a race against time. Okay? Both Beta and the Restoration Block want all of them dead. Okay? Si Ajarde, si Nguyen, and of course the Anti-X Arm Squad. Including, especially si Akira. Okay? Especially si Akira. So, Wow. Okay? So, dalawa na kalaban nila rito. Dalawa da, dalawa na kalaban nila Akira rito. Si Beta and the Restoration Block. Okay? So everyone's in full agreement. Everyone was in full agreement that Akira needs Ogre. Akira needs to merge with Ogre again. So pinadala. The flow daming kambyo. All right? daming kambyo rito. So, Aljarde sacrifices himself. Alma gets uh, Alma gets reprogrammed. So, she's back with the good guys. Of course, Soma well, uh, well, dec decides to go on his own revenge. And of course, the biggest one. Akira is reunited with Ogre. It's devil mode time. <laughs> It's devil mode time again. Okay? Yeah. The plot, superb. Pang road to the finale talaga ang plot. If you don't look past the animation, you will never, you will never see the value X-Arm brings to the cyberpunk genre. Right? So look past the animation. Uh, always consider, always check out the storyline. Yun lang yun. Okay? That's why, uh, well, I told you guys from the time we started reviewing this anime, I told you guys that X Arm has potential. Lo and behold, it has been better since episode 4. It has been better since episode 4. So, X Arm episode 9? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. If I were in bed. If I were in bed right now reading this anime, I would also give it a big toe. <laughs> okay? Put down something a big toe, yeah. If you take a look at the root cause of it all, okay, it's beta. <clears throat> Siya ang puno tulo ng lahat ng to. Alright? And wow. It's really scary. Okay. It's really scary for, uh, for an AI to be this evil. I haven't seen um, a computer program this evil since 2001 A Space Odyssey. <laughs> uh, that classic sci-fi movie where uh, every astronaut inside that spacecraft is trapped because it is entirely controlled by the, by, uh, by the ship's computer. Right? It's a really scary film, pero sci-fi siya. Okay? It put the cringe in... That movie put the cringe in sci-fi. And this episode of X Arm just, well, it took me back to that movie. 2001 A Space Odyssey. Nandanyo ni, alright? Nandanyo ni, it's a classic. It's a classic sci-fi movie. The character development of, um, what you call this? Uh, the character that had the biggest character, the character that, the, that had the biggest, um, 
that had the most notable development was Alma, not Akira. All right? She's been wondering all along why is she uh, uh, why is she why is she basing some of her decisions on all of a sudden, out of the blue, uh, like uh, like like a normal human. But I got well, we only got one word for that: instinct. I think uh, after her reprogramming here, she would fully embrace it. Right? She would fully embrace that uh, the instinct she has already developed in her. <clears throat> she's probably that smart on AI. Right? Her AI is probably that smart. Kasi kumaga, she can make decisions on the fly. Uh, kumaga, she, now, she can now differentiate between good and evil. Right? Yeah. Probably the most impressive character here is Alma. It's not Akira actually. Akira is Akira is the main protagonist, but um, the character with the most impressive development here is Alma. Right? Yeah, so far so good for her. Yeah. Candidate for best girl? Yeah, yeah, that's well, hey. <laughs> Alright. She's hot too. She's she's hot for a cyborg. <laughs> she's hot for a cyborg. So again, X Arm episode 9. Two thumbs up, right? Two thumbs up, Twitch. Next episode, whoa! Okay? This, this is a, a certified showdown. We're gonna see Alma versus Soma. Okay, Soma, so, Soma is also the mask, the mask, you mask the cyborg. It's also him. So, mukhang magkaasubo ko sila ni Alma rito. So, I, I am so looking forward to that. Alright, I'm so looking forward to that. Truth Cooking Master Boy Second Season Episode Nine. Wow! All right. Talk about. Uh, I think it's probably one of the biggest plot twists in season two of this anime, of uh, the reboot, okay? the reboot of the classic. And I could not recall this uh, this mini art from the original series, which makes it more exciting to review. They met. They fell in love. They had a cooking battle. That's that's how that's the only way I could summarize this episode. Okay, but the final scene. Wow. Shelu wakes up from being a bloody mess. All right. Um. Wow. Okay, what happened here? What happened here? Um. But anyway, overall, it's a really good episode. Alright, yung pace, mabilis, but you gotta understand, it's the road to the finale. So, well, everything, uh, they might tell the they might tell the remainder of the storyline at a faster pace. Okay, well, nakita na lang ni, ano eh, nakita na lang ni Lien na nasa baba ng tower si Jelo, dukuan. So he assumed that Shelu is already dead. And I na mapa. So he challenged uh, Mila, one of the five Tiger Stars Palayon, yung, uh, yung babaying booming, uh, bumihag sa puso ni, ni Shelu. Well, ang mana sa manya. She's one of the five Tiger Stars. Dun niya nalaman. Now, the end has to. has to. has to. Uh, Lien is now seeking redemption. Alright? So yung flow, maganda yung mga cambio. Okay? Ganda ng mga cambio. Do you even think that um, uh, Shelo is still alive? Well, this may motivate Lien in talagang just securing the win for the good guys. And, did you see the technique Mila uses? Kinokopya niya ang technique ng kalaban niya. Alright? She is a certified copycat. Okay? Di ba? Di ba merong, di ba merong copycat killer? She's a copycat chef naman. Pero, uh, what can one up her in this, in this contest is her knowledge of spices because 
did his close ni Shang that Mila was born and raised in India. She was actually yeah, born and raised in India. Nearly close to the underworld. Grabe. And the plot, shut up. <laughs> maganda yung ano eh. Maganda yung, maganda yung plot ng episode na to. Superb. It's really superb. Now, we don't know what's going to happen to uh, who, will, who will win the, uh, who will win the, that contest between DN and uh, Mila. But I think, but the way, uh, uh, the way DN cooked his dish, Mukhang talaga kakaiba eh. Uh, hindi makokopya ni Mila. Hindi niya makokopya. Alright? Because the pace, the pace of the episode itself gave me, uh, gave me, and I gave me that idea. Alright? So, it's okay to be fast. The episode has to, it's okay for an episode to be this fast, but you gotta give, you gotta, you gotta give the audience clues as to what's going on. Okay lang yun. So, True Cooking Master Boy, second season, episode 9. Two thumbs up. Best two thumbs up I have ever given a side story. Alright? Kasi, <clears throat> dito sa episode na to, let, let me get some water. The storyline veered away from, from Mao and from, from, from Mao's um, core group. For a while, so nagfocus mo na tayo kila kila Jelon Tien kono nang iko ano na nang yari sa kanila and how is um, how are they taking care of the map? They're half of the map. Nakuha ng kalaban, so Tien had no choice but to challenge Mila for that map. Okay, grabe. You know what? This is the road to the finale, cooking master boy style. Right? Talagang na eh, uh, nag-veer away muna sa storyline to give the, well, probably to give the audience a break kasi medyo overexposed na rin si Mau eh. So it's time for his, um, his uh, two closest associates, okay? his two closest, uh, closest partners in cooking crime to, to take the spot. Time for them to get the spotlight. So, maganda tong side arc na to. Involving the two of them. Maganda. And, wow. Uh, like I said a while ago, I could not remember this mini arc in the original series. I could not remember this. Okay? Hindi ko talaga matan... Hindi ko talaga ma... Ano eh? Nasa ah, original series, pero paano hindi matandaan to? So, that's the second time this anime has... Uh, has reoriented me to the storyline. The first one up was the, uh, uh, was the arc involving Zuki, right? And of course, then this one. So, comparing, comparing arcs, siguro, I like the Zuki arc better. Right? I like the Zuki arc better. Kasi, dun talaga, what's all this? <clears throat> Hindi lang nasubukan yung cooking ability ni Mao dun eh. It also challenged this manhood. Okay? It also challenged this manhood. Kasi, inaagaw sa kanya yung, ano eh, uh, his, his love, in, his now love interest here. Okay? We now, we, we now, we all, we all know now. Okay? May feelings din siya kay, kay Mili. Alright? May feelings din siya kay Mili. Uh, Nabisto. Okay? Uh, it's, it's now out of the open. It's now out of the open. Uh, yeah. It, not only was his cooking ability, his um, his cooking talent was challenged here, it also challenged his manhood. Alright? Kaya nga, sinabi niya nun eh, napisto niya eh. I will not forgive you for poisoning Mei Li. Talagang, ano eh, talagang, uh, he showed no mercy against, he, he showed no mercy to Suki. He showed no mercy. Then, yun nga, this one naman, it also involves uh, an unlikely romantic couple. Pero imagine, Jelu falling in love with one of the five, with one of the five tiger stars. 
Pero hindi naman niya alam. Doon lang niya nalaman ng, ano yan. Doon lang niya nalaman eh. Later on. So he had no choice but to, but to engage her in a cooking battle. Siya kasi may hawak ng mapa. Siya kasi may hawak ng kalahati ng mapa. Siya talaga may, may hawak. Talagang, this episode, wow, it really gave me those uh, road to the finale feels. Right? Really gave me, gave me those road to the finale feels. And, it got justified in the teaser for the next episode. I'm gonna explain that later. So again, Cook, uh, True Cooking Master Boy, second season, episode 9. Thumbs up, right? Thumbs up, Twitch. So, like I said, na teaser na yung susunod na episode. And, lo and behold, well, my road to the finale views has been justified again. Mao! Ano to? Bobo sabihin, magkaharap na sila ng pinuno mismo ng cooking underworld. Magkaharap na sila. But, uh, don't trust teasers, alright? They can, animation studios are known to mix scenes up just to teaser the episode, okay? But not, but not give, not give away the entire story. So, they're notorious for that. So, it's up to us now to watch the episode next week. The Seven Deadly Sins, Dragon's Judgment, Episode 9. Castle 1? Imagine! Escanor single-handedly bending off the original demon. Okay? So, napunta naman kay King, si Seldris. So, well, uh, final scene. The original demon finally, finally beats Escanor. Sends him flying. Mael rescues him. Okay, so, nakita yung origin at yung, yung original at saka yung current user ng Sun Power. Overall, it's a great episode. Okay. Yung pace, medyo, yeah, mabagal. But, I don't think, I don't think it would be, uh, I think it wouldn't be understandable if they pick it up a bit. Alright? So, tamang-tama lang. Yung flow, yeah, ang bigat, ang bibigat na mga cambio rito. Uh, the gear shifts, wow. Okay. Uh, as if you were, as if you were driving a truck, then suddenly shifting gears. All right, uh, that's how heavy it is. See, so, well, uh, all the all, all the commandments have been gathered. Uh, they were attracted to each other, so they find the the five remaining commandments that hindi pa nako ni Milodas tapot na sa kanya. Sila mismo ang pumunta sa kuko ni Milodas. Okay, so that's. Uh, that compelled Merlin to use the Chrono Coffin spell. So, ang bigat, ang bigat ang cambio. And then of course, well, uh, the, the, the final gear shift was uh, Mael rescuing Escanor. Okay. And of course, well, plot, of course, carry over, natural, carry over from the, from the last episode. So, say, it's one continuing story, uh, showing no signs of let up. <laughs> showing no signs of let up, which is good because it, because it is the final season of the Seven Deadly Sins, so it has to be it has to be done right, right? It has to be done right. So, the Seven Deadly Sins Dragon's Judgment episode nine. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Like I, uh, like I told you guys, like I told you guys before, the, sto the storyline for, for the final season has, well, is, is yet to show any signs of let up. It's one plot twist after another. And this episode was no different. And we, we, we saw it. Melodias, okay? Melodias now has all ten commandments. Yun ang inita yun yung, yung limang yung limang yun eh. So, Melodas has Melodas has five, and the five that are at large just just came to it, just came to his kuhun, pumasok to. So that forced Merlin, that forces Merlin now to use 
dispel yung throne of coffee. Okay. Even even Ludusil even Ludusil was impressed with her. I say eh, she also has the ability to control time. She ha- she is uh, that skilled the magician. She is that skilled the sorceress. Kaya nga siya seven deadly sins eh. Kaya nga seven deadly sins eh. Panapanabig ang seven deadly sins dragon's judgment. If you're still missing out on this uh on the final season of this great anime, you're a normie. You're a normie. I don't. I don't care what other fantasy animes you're watching right now. The seven deadly seven deadly sins tops them all. all. Right. So again, the seven deadly sins dragons judgment episode nine. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, Twitch. Title, the title of the next episode has been teasered. <laughs> All we have to do is, well, uh, wait for next week and watch the next episode. So, let's do it. Thank you, Twitch. Thank you, Twitch. Mentoring episode, yeah, so to speak, because uh, Shiro proverbially takes Minori under his wing, or, uh, or so he's assuming, <laughs> yeah, because well, uh, Minori, uh, Minori's true, in- true intention was to ask him out on a date. <laughs> Final scene. Uh, let's just say that uh, the genius's attack has begun. The whole of Akiba gets creepy looking and the adults are gone. It's now probably up to Minori and uh, the younger adventurers to uh, figure things out. Right? Even Shiro is nowhere to be found. Okay. Overall, it's a good episode. I recognize it all too quickly that uh, this is a setup. This is a setup episode to the final three. Because uh, the enemy is here. You pace for uh, the pace only picked up during during the final scene. Rightfully so, because uh, everybody else was actually uh, was actually preparing for this uh, for this raid boss. This, of this boss monster. Everybody was preparing for it. So the flow, uh, the only gear shift in the, in the story I saw here was the final scene. And uh, the plot, not exactly, uh, not a bad one, but not good enough. They didn't push the envelope. They didn't push the envelope when it, when it came to the, the romance angle. All right. Uh, they should have what you call this. Let Minori confess her feelings for for Shiro. This would have been a great episode. All right. This would have been a great episode. Uh, well, who knows? It might it might happen in the finale. I'm not Studio Dean, all right? I'm not Studio Dean. So, but, like I said, it's a good episode. It's a good episode. So, Long Horizon 3rd Season Episode 9. Oh, come on. But, primarily because uh, they did not push the end. Well, Studio Dean did not push the envelope a little bit further with the romance angle between uh, the uh, the hidden love triangle. Uh, I noticed it between um, Shiro, Akatsuki, and Minori. Right? They should have pushed the envelope a little more, all right, to, to make this episode more. Ex- to me, to me, should have made the episode more exciting. Of course, uh, 
Shiro accompanies uh, Shiro mentors Minori when it comes to uh, great supplies I think nearly nearly every gamer on the planet does that all right but uh, I don't know uh, if yeah the Minori is uh, obviously Minori is taking this to heart because she is she is learning a lot of things from from the guild master himself our own guild master so uh, yeah they should have pushed the end they should have pushed the possible love love triangle love triangle thing uh, that is uh, but uh, the love triangle is there right the love triangle is there we, we can feel it in our bones all right so again long horizon third season episode nine on the on Twitch. So next episode has been teasered, and wow, all right? Looks like uh, looks like season three of Log Horizon is coming to an end because the battle the battle will begin in this next episode. B Star Second Season Episode Nine. Legacy finally reaches out to Louis and fills him fills him in really quickly before uh, before escaping with his like I say, babarin nesa babarin nesa ni Forest ni Louis, right? Final scene. The goals of sila Legacy and si Pina. Sila magkakampingin sa drama club because of Riz. Because of, because of what they found out about Riz. Okay. And, well, we just saw Riz flat out pissed off at them both. But hindi kalaban to. It's a brown bear. Okay. It's no match for a wolf. Okay. It's no match for a wolf. Overall, yeah, it's a really good episode, all right? You base, moderate, and good. I say, well, you don't have to speed things up here because Legacy has uh, slowly getting the hang of it, how to how to do battle with different, uh, all kinds, different kinds of different species. He now knows how to deal with each one. You flow, I'll pick up the gear shift you want it. It's a, it's a really big gear shift in the story. So how will Louis uh, how will Louis use this information now? How will he uh, how will he take advantage of this as the boss of the Leo group? Right? And well how is Riz? How is Riz going to handle both them, uh, both them, uh, Pina and Legacy? Legacy. So, you can see, you can see Pina's being, Pina is playing mind games with Riz. True, oh, and Legacy doesn't know it. <laughs> you could consider that a gear shift. Alright. And uh, all this. The, the plot. Mm. I can only see one thing about the plot. It has taken. <laughs> it has taken. See the complication na when Legacy uh, was able to was able to reach out to Louis about his uh, about his knowledge of Dem's death. I did some investigating myself. It's, uh, this is the reason why I'm into all this trouble. Because I know who devoured them. He's in the drama club. We saw that look of concern in Louis' face. So, yeah. Right there, the plot has taken. <laughs> the plot has taken. Yeah, it's a really good episode. Ramdam Kurito, Road to the Finale. 
Naramdam ko rito. I think we're just waiting for waiting for something ugly to happen here. Riz is now pissed off at both Legacy and Pina. And God knows what Louis uh, God knows what Louis is about to do. So, so Beastars second season episode 9. Two thumbs up. Deserve that. Kasi you've seen the confrontation between Legacy and Riz. If that scene alone doesn't warrant the two thumbs up, I don't know what will. So, yeah. He was, Legacy was so pissed off at, at Riz at that moment, he broke, he, uh, he broke a stage light. He literally squeezed the light out of a stage light. Sa inis niya. Right? It was a, it was a tense scene. It was a, let's say, Let's say it was a disturbing scene because Riz had that uh, that puppy dog look in his face. Alright? Ito lang si Legacy. All tense. Okay. Lumabas. Muntik na lumabas ang pagka-wolf niya rito. Muntik na lumabas ang pagka-gray wolf niya rito. He almost threw all that training out the window. Pati Riz. In the drama in the drama club office ang okay, pinaka pinaka tambayan ng drama club stage auditorium okay. yun ang tambayan ng drama club eh. so it happened in the auditorium itself right that was that was a uh, a tense scene which made which which became disturbing because of Riz's puppy dog look that puppy dog look on his face when he when Legos in front of him. Right? That's the sign of a uh, that's the sign of a killer. You may you, you got that innocent look on your face, but when no one else is looking, you wanna kill some people. Yeah, parang ganun niya. That's how disturb that's how that's how disturbing that scene was. So again. B Star second season episode 9. Two thumbs up. Deserve me a Twitch. Two thumbs up. In typical B Star's fashion, no teasers whatsoever. That's why uh what? Yeah, they have an B Stars has an uncanny way of uh, building building an building the next episode up. But by not saying anything about it. Right? After all, this is the road to the finale. We're down. We're down to the final three episodes of season two. Eh, ayon palang. Last week palang kapanapan na big ne. Eh, to pa. Eh, legacy finally. Legacy confronts Riz in front of the entire drama club. Yo, medyo kinan masan ni Pina dun eh. Medyo kinan masan ni Pina. Pina did. Uh, Pina did made the right call here by uh, by calming by calming Legacy down. Okay. Only then, Alama, it, it would have been a bloodbath. It would have been a bloodbath. So, yeah, I can't wait for that. I cannot wait for episode ten of season two. Detective Conan, episode 1000. You guessed it, my lifestyle. This is the first time that I, that I have actually reviewed an episode from an anime that is not on my current roster, right? But due to its, but due to its historical significance, well, I just have to review it. I wanna, I really wanna know how this great anime franchise um, displayed its wares during this milestone. And well, uh, I've seen, I've seen, uh, I think probably the first two seasons of Detective Conan. Okay, uh, I, I, I'm not sure, but uh, it's regularly shown on GMA. It's a local, it's a local TV chat. It's a local TV station here. And well, they, they just announced that they're going to. They're going to broadcast new episodes. 
But enough of that. I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm gonna wrap that later. So, in typical Detective Conan fashion, it's a murder case. Alright? What a way to, uh, to celebrate a milestone. The only way detective, the only way this anime knows how, by solving a murder case. But it's not, it's not just actually a murder case. Alright? Final scene. Isang murder lang dapat ang isang murder lang dapat ang resolved by Nico na ni and his uh, and his entourage. But the murder becomes two cases. Okay, dalawang tao na inamamatay. Okay, two murders have occurred already in this episode. Okay. Who's the killer? Uh, we all know how good detective. We all, we all know good. We all know how good the detective Conan is. Yeah, he is going to solve that. Overall, uh, wow. Okay, this anime wasn't uh, isn't known for its flashiness, all right. But the way it delivers its uh, its various plots, that's why it's a classic. That's why up to now, it has a big fan base all over the world, even here in the Philippines. There. Here in the Philippines, the Detective Conan fan base is considerably big. It's still considerably big. The base, well, the base has picked up when, well, well, well when the mayor of the town, when you mismo mayor ang pinatay, okay? You mismo mayor na ang pinatay dito. Uh, that's the biggest. That's the that's that's when the that's when the pace picked up. Right then the episode ends. Well, yeah. Detective Conan, he, uh, Detective Conan is known for that. All right. Detective Conan is known for that. And uh, the flow. Wow. When it when it comes to gear shifts, Detective Conan is one of those uh, one of those uh, one of those animes that have really set the bar when it comes to. Uh, when it comes to delivering, when it comes to bringing on the flow of a story, the sudden twists like that, sudden gear shifts in its own genre, nobody does it better than Detective Conan. Nobody does it better. And well, of course, the plot. Need I say more? It's Detective Conan, guys. Okay. Kaya nga hindi matalo ng One Piece to pagdating sa sa eri ng mga eri ng mga episodes eh. right? That's why it has. Oh well, well, it is now 1001 actually because uh, it's episode uh, episode 1001 will be uh, will be airing this week as of this uh, as of this recording as of this stream. When it comes to delivering the plot in its own genre, I repeat, nobody does it better than Detective Conan. Nobody does it better. Not even uh, those great detectives. Not even psychopaths. Okay. Not even psychopaths. Not even uh, the Pals of Young Kin Daichi, its predecessor. No, it's far from it. Not even uh, Babylon. Nope. Iba talaga ang uh, iba talaga ang plot ng isang episode of Detective Conan. You will be compelled to watch the next one kasi two parts, it's a two parts, it's a three parts in it. Alright? And this Boston episode, it sets the it sets the tone for the next one. Okay? Part one ito, yung Moon Knight Sonata murder case. Actually, it's not, it's not the case, it's two cases already. Dahil, 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 Dalawa na yung namamatay eh. Dalawa na yung pinapatay ng suspect na to. Which, uh, which is yet to be, whose identity is yet to be revealed. But yeah, we know eventually Conan will catch this killer. So, Detective Conan episode 1000, it's an honor. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. You know what? TMS Entertainment is uh, one of the name brands when it comes to Japanese animation. 
when, when it comes to anime. They have been doing this since uh, since the 70s, okay? What are the other animes uh, that are in the stable of TMS? Dr. Stone. And of course, my favorite, Lupin the Third. Okay? Lupin the Third is also TMS Entertainment. Uh, I'm a big I'm a big Lupin the Third fan, you know. You know what guys? They well Lupin the Third and Detective Conan had two crossover movies. Which is also that because they well they're from the same animation studio, so it's possible. Lupin the Third versus Detective Conan. Okay. So wow, right? There I go. Vintage Detective Conan ang episode na to. No, no frills, no nothing fancy. Not well, the opening sequence is not even the opening sequence is fancy. It went right to the start. It went right to uh, it went right to the start of the, the actual start of the episode. Dragang yun mismo. Yun mismo yun. Galing. Galing. So well, uh, yun tiga. Was that Millionaire Detective? Ano ba yun? Ano ba yun? Ano ba yun? Uh, what's the name of that? What's the name of that uh, detective anime? Millionaire Detective. Balance Unlimited. Yon. Not even Balance Unlimited can match. Uh, can uh, can reach the bar that was set by Detective Conan. Nope. And besides. Amongst all the um, amongst all the uh, amongst all the detective amongst all the animes in its in its genre right now, Detective Conan is the most kid friendly. Detective Detective Conan, only Detective Conan is the uh, is family friendly, right? Yung death scenes naman di ba pinapakita? Pasa pinapakita nila ang pangkay niya. Kalor na bulagta bulagta na minaka minaka pasa ng kuchiyo sa likod. Diba? So, no, no actual death scenes here. Mas uh, pinapas, di ba pakita lang ng, ng animators ko? Oh, di ba kay? Sino pumatay? Right? Wow. Okay. This anime started in 1996. I did a feature on this on, on my anime blog. It's one of the uh, batang 90s ka. You should know what you should know who Detective Conan is. Sa sabi na the anime to from the 90s. And 25 years later, they're still at it. They just aired their 1,000th episode. They just aired their 1,000th episode. You would last 25 years with the same formula. Yeah, that makes you a classic. That makes you a classic. So again, Detective Conan episode 1,000. It's an honor, TMS, to review this episode. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, bitch. Now, I'm not going to say anything about the next episode because I don't plan to watch it anymore. Because, well, this is the trouble with Detective Conan, all right? Once you watch it, you may never stop because uh, the, cases get, the cases get more interesting than the last one. That's it. That's why its legions of fans are so loyal to it, right? But congratulations, TMS Entertainment, for uh, for Detective Conan on airing its 1,000th episode, and it's it's an honor for me to review it, right? Right here, it's an honor. It's a deep honor for me to review it.